Hey there, Redtail crew. This is Dr. Henry here and coming to you with Sarah, one of our patients who agreed to do this video for us. Um, Sarah came to us with some back pain and a few other complaints um, and she received a stem cell injection uh, about a month ago. Um, Sarah, can you just tell us a little bit uh, about when you came to see us, how your pain was affecting your life and robbing joy from your life? So um, before I came to Red Tail, I, uh, I've been a nurse for the past 26 years, going on 27, and I've been in healthcare for 31. So pretty labor intensive work. And um, my pain level had reached points of where the pain would become so intense that I'd actually vomit from the back pain. Uh, because, you know, when people are sick, you can't just stop moving. You have to keep going and pursue, you know, their, their best health. So, um, originally, I think it was on Facebook, I saw your ad for the free luncheon and mm -hmm. I'd done a lot of research on stem cell already. And so for me, this was kind of like divine timing. Um, I spent probably, I was up to, I would say at least 75% of my days were pain filled, um, with a standard of, um, six to seven being an average day. And um, that was not acceptable to me. That was, it, it prohibited exercise. Um, I still was able to do quite a bit of exercise, but I had days where I just couldn't do anything. I was just gonna have to lay down most of my day. Mm -hmm. So that's what brought me here was a right. magical luncheon. <laughs> right, um, right. I happened to have the cash at the time and knew that that's what it would be and um, a right. great need. Right. Well, sometimes God works in mysterious ways, even through Facebook, I guess. I would say so. <laughs> so, so um, Sarah, for the next part, can you just tell, walk us through a little bit of what the process was like after you signed up? I know you came in and had an exam. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me after that what, what the process looks like? So, yeah, I signed up and literally came to your office the very same day of my luncheon. Um, then we did some intake. So we basically examined what were my limitations physically how much uh, flex, extension, I guess uh, weight or, or resistance I had, which um, there was a lot of weakened parts, especially on my right side. Uh, so the scarring and things like that had definitely degraded my capabilities. Mm -hmm. And then I think I went straight into my injections. And so I, inject I injected near the sacral spine. Um, so I have degeneration L345. So I went right at L4 and then at like just at S1 lumbar. What is it? What's the last lumbar? L5. L5 is yep. the last. Okay. So yeah, I think S2 L, L4 mm -hmm. for my injections. Gotcha. And so really on the scale of pain, I, you know, as a nurse, I believe it's better to give than it is to receive. So I've never been a fan myself, but it wasn't that bad at all. <laughs> gotcha. And then everything thereafter with all the therapies and the, um, I guess what I found is that it's really breaking down the scar tissue. So it's not to say that you aren't still going to be sore, especially after your appointment. Um, but the fact that I wake up, instead of waking up and not being able to move or having to go get in the bath or take yeah. things that make me tired. Right. Yeah, that's really I don't powerful. Do that <laughs> that's really great, Sarah. Um, just a little more on that note, and we can stop whenever you want if you want. But I'm all right. Okay, great. <laughs> I knew you were. Uh, these are tears of joy, actually, because I did. I had left the bedside. Right. I got ready. I got ready to leave nursing, direct care, and mm -hmm. um, and I've done so. But I, uh, it's kind of like putting your cape away a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to put my cape away. I still have amazing feats that I can achieve. And so I'm really excited, not just for this next year of all the developments from my stem cell, because I know mm -hmm. it keeps working and gets better and better and better over the course of like 10 months. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait for those days. And um, I'm actually, I've got my RV up and running and I'm going to go buy myself a new pickup truck and I am going to go back to the bedside. It'll probably be next spring awesome but yeah i'm doing my strengthening and improving my body now that i can physically work both sides <laughs> equally 
that that helps. Yeah, yeah, it does. Fantastic, awesome, Sarah. Um, well, I think that's pretty much all I really needed. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you sharing your story and helping us reach other people. That's what we're all about here. So. Thank you. It's made a real difference. I recommend it highly. Great.